And hello YouTube, how's it going for you today? My name is Dark Tom, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. Pretty much recording this pretty much on a Monday here. Pretty much, uh, pretty much about 5.30 here, which where I live. But uh, today we will be traveling to, once we get the map here, uh, we are going to be heading south to where we are at right now. Uh, we might possibly go east of Cinnabar Island to possibly go check out the Seafoam Islands if there is anything out there worthwhile getting but pretty much the game plan is pretty much for this episode to pretty much uh, uh, get, uh, get to Cinnabar pretty much check out what's going on over there but uh, pretty much I did eventually after much coaxing by me pretty much to get uh, for a legato, pretty much uh, uh, surf, pretty much out of, pretty much uh, in spite of all that, but uh, we'll just uh, pretty much have to deal with some trainers here in just a bit, but at least we get paid to do that kind of stuff. Be probably one of the more easier jobs to do, be a freaking Pokemon trainer. I mean, you just train and then fight people and stuff. It's not really that difficult to do. Uh, but uh, I have a little bit of a type of disadvantage here, but pretty much Golem is taking care of it all by herself. Uh, I'll just send a, send a seal here. Would be nice to get like a electric type Pokemon, but fortunately in this version there is no uh, Mareep in this one, so we're gonna have to just wing it here. But but pretty much all these Pokemon are really really squishy, so not really too difficult to fight, not in the least bit. So she's got some dugong. I'll use a magnitude uh, number five. Oh, wow, he actually survived that. Or she, rather. Yeah, see, it's not even that effective. I mean, it is effective, but it didn't really do a whole lot of damage on. I'm poor little dugong. Yes, 560. All right, I think we got ourselves a fisherman here. Judging by the sprite, it's not a freaking hiker. So Arnold. Hey Arnold. Alright, use a rollout. Oh dear. Uh, this could hurt a bit. Oh yeah. And bye bye. Cool. Arnold was defeated. Our failure. Thirteen hundred. And skip away. Skip. Skip. I don't think there's anything. I can't remember if there's a lot of trainers here in this version. I know in the previous. I know in blue there was quite a few of them up here. Sorry about the freaking static. I don't know why that is like that. Oh, there's another one. Land ho! Gotta keep going. Swimmer Seth wants to battle. Instead of a quagsire. Uh, 
not a very strong one either. And bye bye Quagsire. Some artillery. Uh, yeah, pretty much on the previous episode, pretty much we went through the bike path, bicycle path, and then we went to Fuchsia City to pick up a soul badge, I believe it was. So I think we only just have one, two badges left to get in Tink Canto, something like that. And level 32. But we don't have too much left in this game. No, not a lot. Just gotta go to Cinnabar, then go to Viridian, take on the gym leader there, and then... And then comes the not-so-fun part of dealing with uh, the final trainer. Who is... Not very easy to take down. Right, so there is a Pokemon Center here. Right, nevertheless, we'll just go through that and then we'll hop on out. Hi, who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. My name's Blue. I was once the champion. Although it was only for a short time, that meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? I had to say it, but I'm not in the mood for battle now. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as... Which is, we can lose in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, come to Viridian City. I'll take you on then. Aw, you didn't even, you didn't even do the smell you later. Oh, sweet. Dang it. Uh, right. What do I even have? Uh, let's see. I do have HP up that I can use here. Okay. Well, I have an effect. Hmm. Pretty much all of those guys are holding freaking that. Uh, Can I really part with? Yeah, get rid of the white apricorn. There we go. All right. So, but as I said, pretty much there's not gonna be a uh, gem here, sadly. Unlike in the first generation, where you could face off against uh, Blaine, I believe his name was. Uh, but we'll just use a rare candy, then we'll just uh, and we'll just use an Arcanine. Arcanine. There we go. And move these guys up.
Well, that was kind of a Debbie Downer, but for which I kind of figured that would be somewhat of the case. Oh, snap. These guys are actually a little bit tougher than I actually remember. They actually give a decent amount of XP. And there's trainers out here too. So Cameron wants to battle. And the battle that Cameron will have. Then watch as freaking Alakazam just absolutely destroys this Meryl. Yep, there we go. Wow, didn't even give that much XP. How freaking lame is that? Even freaking these guys give out a bit more. Uh, but in the previous version, you wouldn't have been able to. Okay, there isn't anything up there, but uh, the previous version, you'd have to go through all the way into that entrance and then you would come out of that mountain over there and go through there get the cinnabar but time says change what a impressive what an impressive collection of gym badges we should battle and the battle we shall have And Lori. Lori, Lori, Lori wants to uh, fight me. Uh, I'll just use confusion. One of the more basic is psychic attacks. And down you go. All right. I'd have to look through the walkthrough just to see if, if I'm actually even able to get all eight. Or, I'm, you know, or if I'm just only able to get seven of them, I have to look that up pretty much off off screen here, off camera. But and I think we just I think there's a few more a few more trainers up here, but we'll just keep on chugging along. I feel so much lighter in water. And Nicole wants to battle. Since uh, Meryl. And Sybeam. And sends out a Lapras. Dang. Yeah, I think the Lapras might survive that. Or nope. <laughs> I thought that Lapras was like a, was like a psychic Pokemon too. If I remember right. I mean it's I mean its primary type is breaking water, but It can talk without its mouth moving. I think that would be like psychic and shit. Maybe. I don't know. 
Oh, so close. <laughs> so close to level 55. Feels bad, man. But should get it from there. Yep. Alright. And we're at 19. And this would be the area that they mentioned before, but obviously now it's already pretty much open to the public. I'm all sweaty. Time for a swim. The road work is finally finished. Now I can go fishing again. Uh, of course you can go fishing prematurely. Pretty much got done with what you needed to do. So pretty much you had to go back to the Fuchsia City pretty much all. Pretty much with no real war reward for it. But hey, at least you go see Pallet Town, right? Alright, yeah, let's cut. Cool. Swimming. Lousy. I'm lousy at it. I'm just splashing around in these shallow waters. So, swear Jerome wants to battle. And just use a uh, bite there, which pretty much takes care of him. Oh my god, Jerome, he has freaking four. Four freaking Pokemon. But, alright. And constrict, and that didn't really do much because I already defeated him. Uh, so I'm gonna use a tentacruel. Ba 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 ba. Oh, flinch needs another extra attack, and another one. Might as well take advantage of the opportunity while well, it presents itself. And for Legata, should be in at level 55 after this. Unless something really, really weird happens. And the oh, pretty much gold aim goes down. Yay! Sweet. And Jerome was defeated. I thought I could win. Well, lame. Doesn't even give you that much money. Let's see, I don't think there's too much of any trainers left here. But we'll just continue exploring for a bit, and I'll call this episode good. And we will eventually travel to uh, Viridian to take on pretty much uh, blue. Pong Glub. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's two of them in here. All right. Pan, pan, just a little farther to Fuchsia. <laughs> I kind of paused there for just a moment there. I thought he wasn't really going to be battling me or what. I don't know. Nevertheless, I always accept a challenge. Alright, so we're gonna use the 
Loister. Probably one of the more cooler Pokemon in the game. Man, look at that. It's so freaking menacing, man. Especially in the anime, too. What a freaking... <laughs> Clamps down on freaking Psyduck. <laughs> that always got me every time. Alright. I'm disgusted by wimpy people. What do you have against wimpy people? So, Dawn, since uh, seeking. And we'll just use Bite. Because why not? Wow. Can't believe he survived by just that little bit amount of health. I could beat you at swimming. That you probably could. Since I'm essentially riding a Pokemon. Rather, uh, rather like a lapper sprite. Gen one, it was like a freaking dugong sprite. All right. 